Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. This is going to be part two of the swatching of the 520 Brute Furner colored pencil set. So in part one, we got through all of this down to here. So that was the first 260 colors. So now we are going to start here and we are going to get through the rest of the pages. So, did you hang in with me for part one? <laughs> okay, we're going to get going. Let me get the next batch of three out here. And I will zoom you guys back in. All right, so we have Ensign. Ensign Blue. Aren't these dark blues pretty? They're all pretty. And last on this page is Dark Denim B10. All right. We get to go up to the next sheet already. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, huh? Now we have Majolica, Majolica Blue B30. Oh, that's a pretty dark blue. All right, so now we start the next blue family. So we have Angel Blue. Oh, isn't that pretty? How many times have I said pretty already? We have Fjord Blue B57. So now these blues will have a greenish undertone. We have Viridian Green G88. Oh yeah, these two are really pretty together. We have Ceramic. And Tropical Green B17. Fanfare G32. Oh, isn't that pretty? Bluegrass B13. Those are really pretty. Okay, we go into a different tone again. We have River Blue. Now, I myself, I'm probably going to be lumping some of these together. I'm not sure yet at this point. Capri B6. It is kind of nice how they are split out so you can see your perfect blends, but I don't know. Bluebird G85. Some of them definitely are, you know, don't belong together. But. And Tile Blue, G39. Enamel Blue, G63. And heaven knows, I do not have the perfect eye to, uh, you know, determine all the um, undertones and everything. I am no pencil, uh, uh, I was going to say magician, um, uh, expert. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, we need Deep Lagoon. Deep Lagoon B53. Ooh, that one sharpened too much. 
so we won't be able to press as dark or as hard. And Dragonfly B69. Oh, these are so pretty. Blue Coral B62. I did look out on Amazon last night. They are, this 520 set is still available. It's a little bit pricier than what I paid for it a few months ago. Ocean Depths. But for the number of pencils you get, this is B66. It's still a really good deal. I think it was maybe 120 or something like that. Not a real even amount like that, but somewhere in there. Caribbean Sea G17. Still feel like I'm doing bingo. G17. And Mosaic Blue B27. All right, I heard somebody yell bingo. <laughs> Turkish Tile G59. Mykonos Blue B36. We've heard of that one already too, haven't we? Lion's Blue. Okay, on here it says, looks like B-L-U-S instead of B-L-U-E. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> B-68. Ink Blue B63. Getting into some beautiful darker blues again. We have Corsair B13. And Daphne B24. Oh, that's pretty. All right, next page in my case. Oh, we're going to get to the pinks pretty soon. And then some reds. Ooh, and then purples. <laughs> Moroccan Blue B42. So we're going to get into a bunch of pretty colors. Well, these are all pretty. So. And we have Salute B25. Here's a real, these next two are really odd ones. I don't know where person to put these. Morning Mist K34. Very, very pale. Can't even hardly tell. According to the pencil, it's kind of like a green gray. But uh, yeah, it's so pale on the paper. And then this next one goes along with that. And this one is called Dusty Aqua K55. So if these two are meant to go together, they are kind of in the green family. Not so sure about that one, though. It almost has more of a gray tone to it. All right, here we go with the pinks. Starting off with a real pale pink, crystal pink, R60. That's pretty. Crystal Rose. Yeah, 
Okay. Boy, I'm playing with my mind here. R19. Especially when that one was so pale. We have Strawberry Ice R59. And Salmon R53. Sachet Pink R27. Again, this looks quite neon, doesn't it? Comes out with the prettiest color, though. A lot of these barrels coming up look quite neon. Azalea Pink, R6. Ooh. Confetti, another one that looks quite neon. R8, definitely not neon. And Carmine Rose, R7. Oh, these are so pretty. Raspberry Sorbet, R37. I have to turn this a little bit here. Oh my gosh. Love it. We have Pink Yarrow R31. And a Super Pink R2. Fuchsia Purple R41. We have Magenta R17. Isn't it just neat to watch all these colors go on the paper? <laughs> Raspberry Rose R42. I guess that's why I like swatching videos. Not only do I like to see the product, I just love seeing all the colors go down on the paper. Fuchsia Rose R34. Okay, next column is this one. Cabaret R26. And Paradise Pink R33. Very much the more the red undertone in that one. Rouge Red R28. So yeah, you can see why they have these two together. Let's see this one. Geranium R20. Yeah, these are definitely more red with the pink undertones. And to me, pink with red undertones. I don't know. We have Tea Berry R45. But yet, I can see where they're here, too. So. Rose of Sharon R48. 
Sharon must have roses. <laughs> we have Kate Cayenne, like in Cayenne Peppers R36. And tomato puree R63. Did I say in part one they uh, like food? <laughs> Barberry R5. So we are definitely leading into the reds. Persian Red R14. The real red red colors are coming a little ways down the road though. Flame Scarlet R16. Well, I guess that's a real red red, isn't it? but they throw some odd colors in the mix too. <laughs> Jalapeno Red, R3. Poppy Red, R23. We have Tomato R58. That's a pretty red. Chrysanthemum R75. Cranberry R62. Yeah, so these three here coming up, or you know, the last two and this next one are a little bit different too. Tandoori Spice K48. So there's a few uh, other odd ones. Not sure where to put them. And then it's like we have some red browns in here. Baked apple R56. Pompeian red R50. Oh, aren't those pretty though? Ketchup YK6. Scarlet Sage R51. Oh, so pretty. Real similar to the red browns that I swatched in part one. Red Dahlia YK16. So I may put these over there. Deep Claret R15. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. Three more in this grouping. Viking Red R18. So some real deep reds, kind of purpley reds. Lipstick Red R54. Garnet R32. Ooh, 
Now, here are three. Um, I'm not quite sure where they're here. We have Persimmon R55. And Cadmium Orange R9. The only reason I can figure out is because we're leading into some uh, red oranges. So, Nasturtium R22. And we have about seven in the reds, and we go to the purples. Grenadine R11. Mandarin Red R46. Oh, these are so pretty. But yeah, I think I would be putting these up by the oranges and reds. Orange.com. Is that a weird name for a color or what? <laughs> Orange.com. R38. Bitch thought that was a typo, didn't you? Oh, you can't hardly see it. Yeah, orange.com. Maybe I'll make the C lowercase. <laughs> Cherry tomato R30. I think these would be so pretty for flowers. That's a neat name, too. High Risk Red <laughs> R25. Oh, and it's so pretty. Fiery Red R1. And finally, the last red. Before the purples is lollipop. Did you get that song in your head? <laughs> R10. I know I did. Okay. On to my favorite. And I know many others. Is the purples. Or are the purples. We have pale lilac K29. Very pale. Would make a great undertone when you're doing skin. Sweet Lilac R66. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, you'll probably be hearing a bunch of ooh and an ah. Uh, no. <laughs> Moonlight Mauve R61. Peach Skin, R74. It's kind of an odd name for a, a purple. This one too, Pink Nectar, R69. Just has a pink undertone to it, doesn't it? My book's getting farther away from me. There we go. Whoops. Let's see. We need Nostalgia Rose. Nostalgia Rose V18. So these are kind of some dusty purples, grayed lavenders, whatever you want. Meza Rose R65.
and pollen is it pollen yuck r68 next page I think actually I'm going to put these underneath because I'm on a mat here so I have something to color on okay rose wine R76 Cyclamen K57. Very much with a pink undertone. Oh, that is pretty. Sherry? No. Sheer. Where's my pen? <laughs> Sherry. Sheer Lilac. I wonder if it's on um, his chart this way. Let's just write this in. Sheer. Lilac. I probably just missed tight. Of course, I gotta have some typos in here. <laughs> that was a lot of typing. Just like I'm sure some number has been mistyped throughout this entire chart. We have Bellflower V12. Gorgeous. And Iris Orchid V9. Just a shade darker. Oh. Sparkling Grape V38. Again, just a tad different. Very Berry R21. Hyacinth Violet R43. Flux V21. You would think in the purples we'd have a lot of flower names, right? <laughs> All right, didn't we have a super pink already? Super pink. I'm going to have to look at that. R4. Flox Pink R70, not to be confused with Flox. Meadow Mob V5. Striking purple, R73. Ooh, that is striking. <laughs> Very pretty. Hollyhock, V33. Vivid Viola, R24. Next group of three. 
Baton Rouge R40. They even named a color after a city here in the States. We have Dahlia Mauve R72. And Wild Aster R47. Red Violet V24. Magenta Purple V34. Now, if this is going too slow for you guys, I, you know, keep in mind, you can always speed me up. <laughs> Raspberry Radiance R29, unless you're like me and you just like something playing in the background while you're doing your own craft, looking up to maybe see the colors. Sangria R44. Definitely some red violets here. Vivacious R35. Oh, I hate this word. Anonymy. Anonymy R64. Now, this is a very dark purple. This is one that I think was just kind of thrown in there <laughs> because they missed it somewhere else. <laughs> we have Beet Red R12 because, yeah, it definitely does not belong there. <laughs> There's a couple of them like that. Boujoulet, Boujoulet, R52. Rhododendron, R71. Red Plum, R49. Tibetan Red, R13. Crushed Grape R67. So we're getting into a different undertone now. Concord Grape V13. Grape Kiss V29. Ooh, love it. And Berry Conserve V16. And turn my page again. We're getting there, folks. That's the last page to turn. <laughs> Black Plum V42. However, I do have the neons and metallics in that tray, those trays yet. So, Crushed Violets V25.
But after this, we have all the grays to get through. Although for a set this size, surprisingly, there's not an absolute ton of grays. So I like that, but <laughs> Plum Caspia V27. I know there are a lot of people out there who love their grays. So there's still a lot. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Dark Purple V10. Very pretty dark purple. Okay, we're going to go to a different undertone now. Dawn Pink K56. Why a K? I don't know. Lavender Mist V44. That just seems really out of place, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll double check, make sure it's not typed incorrectly. Orchid Mist V45. Pansy V59. Ooh, pretty. Daybreak K83. It'd be a pretty uh, color for shading. All of these next ones would. Wistful Mauve K30. So definitely with the gray undertones. Dusky Orchid V41. Next column. We have Pale Mauve V39. Grape Shake <laughs> K50 or K47. So we do have some K's in here. Rose Brown, K37. Ooh, those two go together pretty, don't they? Vineyard Wine, K32. Yeah, those three together are so pretty. Actually, all four of them. One more dark one. We go to another undertone. Wine tasting. Along with the vineyard wine, you have to taste it. V43. Very dark. That's when it's nice to have these in the order that you do with a name because you know it kind of goes with the purples, that it's a real dark purple. Otherwise, you look at that, and unless you have a very good eye, that would almost look like a real deep, maybe red-brown, or, you know, sometimes it's hard to pick out the undertones. Bo uh, I don't know how to pronounce this one. Bougainvillea v11 i'm sure i am butchering and mispronouncing some of these names but oh that's pretty yeah i'm trying my hardest not to ooh and ah over all the colors violet tulip v50 especially these purple again just a shade darker K 
Paisley Purple, V52. Give them just a little darker. Passion Flower, V17. Now here's another one. Looks kind of just thrown in the mix. Chive Blossom, V23. I mean, that does not belong with the others. Meadow Violet, V19. See, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, doesn't it? <laughs> so yeah, like I said in the beginning, there are a few of these colors that were just seen thrown in the mix. Deep Lavender V6. Bright Violet V2. Purple Magic V32. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite shades of purple. Purple Heart V48. V58, sorry. Sand Verbana V49. Aster Purple V3. Purple Coralites V61. And Imperial Palace V14. Prism Violet V60. Ooh. Deep Blue V4. So definitely in the blue violet undertones. Gentian Violet. I thought I misspelled that one, but that's what it is. V53. Come out. Royal Purple V31. Petunia V1. Oh, gorgeous. Purple Rain. Okay, now what song do you have in your head? <laughs> V22. It's a different rain, but... Heliotrope V7. Grape V28. So there are so many beautiful purples in this set. 
Parachute Purple V20. And we got, a, we have a few more. Navy Cosmos V40. Deep Purple V30. I think the other one was Dark Purple, right? Oh. go to a different undertune. We have Jacaranda V51. Only a few more purples. Blue Iris V54. Liberty V15. And Spectrum Blue V8. So you can definitely see the blues in these colors, but you definitely need them in the purples, right? Astral Aura V26. Blue Ribbon V36. Purple Velvet. Oh, Velvet, not Violet. Again, I don't know if that is my mistake or his mistake, but... That's pretty. Okay, as in part one... I did mention that I will link below. Oh my gosh, I forgot his name again. Hmm, Bruno Art Gallery. Um, he has some videos out there on his channel about the Brute Fooners. And he has two videos about the 260 sets, set A and set B. And then he also has a video swatching out all 520. He so kindly created this chart. Each of the 260 videos has a chart, and then the 520 set has a chart. Now, I could not print this landscape. I printed from my iPad. Um, you can print it landscape. You could just use this. Um, to swatch all of your colors out and it does have the color name along with the number and the slash and 520 just like it is on the pencil so that's why I periodically say I don't know if that is my typo or his on here because this is where I copied everything from. So it's probably mine. But again, I'll link this video down below um, if you are interested in looking for this download. Now he is French, so everything's in a foreign language. If you look down in the description of his video, you will see a Google Doc document that you can click on. And then in the upper right, you download it and then you can print it. But you have to download it before you can print it, or you're just going to send a blank sheet to your printer. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is the back cover, so I'm going to hold my case over the top, or it's going to be really hard to get these pencils out because of it being the inside cover. Okay, we have, starting with the very dark grays, Mysterioso V46. Oh no, this might be a dark purple. Yep. We're still in the dark purples. 
kind of hard to tell from the barrel. <laughs> black Beauty K1. Now, I think these are the blacks. Yes. So, this is your black, black, black beauty. And it is definitely a black, black, very, very dark black. Pirate Black K53. There are a ton of different blacks in here. And they do have different undertones, so you can see the difference here. This one is maybe a tad more gray, you know, but they each have a, a little bit of a different undertone to them. Black Onyx K45. You'll notice the K throughout these. I believe the K stands for black, you know, whereas like V stands for violet. Pretty sure in all the color numbers, the K stands for black. So here is Black Onyx. And After Dark, K20. So more of a brown, real dark brown. Forged Iron, K9. Again, dark, dark brown. Nine Iron, K49. And this is a real dark blue. Guess what, folks? Last sheet. Can you believe it? And Jet Set. K-12. This pencil almost seems sticky, you know? I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay, now we have some greens in here, like sage greens. This one's called Blue Wash. Not sure why. K-59. It's like a very pale sage green, so I will be moving these. They definitely all go together, these next greens do. This one's called Frost, K-26. Boa, K-46. Don't these go together nice? I mean, look at that. Oh. Palm Y52. Now see how all these others are K's and that one's a Y. Y. Does have more of a yellow undertone, I guess. That's probably why. Iguana, K-56. Olivine, K-16. And Dark Forest, K-5. Well, that's definitely a gray. It seems like we're going to be starting the grays themselves now. There are a few warm grays. Moonlight K35. Very pale. Oatmeal. K-19, more food. <laughs> Silver gray, K-40. 
So they have a couple of warm grays and then a cool gray. So again, I'm not, not really sure. These next ones look on the cool side also. Vintage Khaki K7. Oh, it's not really on the cool side though. Hmm. Yes, cannot go by the barrel. How many times have I told you that? Morning Dove K41. I was looking at the lead though. I look at that more than I look at the barrel. And uh, yeah. We have Top Gray K11. Yeah, these are definitely warm grays. Except for that one. Fungi K61. Silver filigree. So now that sounds like a cooler gray, right? Yes. So yeah, again, I don't know. Um, steeple gray. And brushed nickel K two. Oh, it looks like we have some blue grays. Bit of blue K sixty. See to me that's more much more blue than gray though. But what do I know? Glacier gray. Very pale. K18. Belgian Black. K4. Yeah, these are some of the cool grays now. Mirage Gray, K13, very blue undertone. Slate, K15. We're almost done with the case, folks. Brittany Blue K43. Very blue. Tempest K42. Cloudburst K3. Move this case here. This one looks quite blue, also called Blue Steel K54. Yeah, I think I would move this one. And this one, too, potentially Asian Blue K14. Looks to be some warm grays again. This one's called Hey <laughs> K38. Very much with the yellow undertone. Wood Ash K50. Q 
Cuban sand. K39. So you can definitely see why these colors are together. And ginger snap. K23. Lilac Ash, K44. Very pale. Sphinx, K22. Another couple real blue ones. Velvet Morning, K8. Folkstone Gray, D37. So yeah, I think I'll be moving now. Nope, not fudge. We want Falcon YK sixty three. Another kind of a dark brown and fudge. So can assume this is gonna be a dark brown, right? K twenty five. Yes. Two more in the case, and then we get to the neons and metallics. Seal Brown, K6. And finally, last column, we have Chive, K28. So that sounds green, doesn't it? Yes. So I'll be moving that too. All right. So now the ALs, we have ALs and then Ls. So we have the neons and metallics. So I am going to get this big case away. Let me zoom you back out. I'll get the big case away over here, and I'm going to get the trays out that contain all of the metallics and the neons, and I will be right back. All right, folks, I am back. Let's get through just these few. Again, this is going to be all of the metallics and the neons for some reason. On the color chart, they threw this one metallic at the end. I don't know why, but again, I left everything in the order that they originally were. So we're going to do the metallics first, which is what the AL stands for. I don't know if it stands for aluminum or not. Sure. Let's zoom you back in. And now these I'm going to have to get in and out of the tray. And um, again, the introduction that I did um, prior to part one. I decided to put in the actual boxes and everything. These trays, um, when you take them out of the boxes, these trays hold the pencils extremely well. They are in each groove quite snugly. Um, just wanted to mention that because it may take me a little bit to get the pencils in and out, but the trays are actually pretty nice. All right, so we have for our first metallic, we have ochre yellow. Is that a yellow ochre? And this is 1024. Let's see if there's actually a shine to them. Oh, there is. I don't know if that's going to show up. Mm, kind of. So we'll swatch them all and we'll see how shiny they are. Okay, so now we have light blue, which is 5012. 
Oh, isn't that pretty? Nice. Whoop. Way too high there, Lisa. And we have Tella Magenta. <laughs> 1401. Very pretty. So you can see we have quite a few metallics. So these would actually be kind of nice for like jewelry and, and things like that. We have golden. Now on the sheet, the other chart, it said golden yellow. On here, it just says golden. So again, I am going to question that. 1025. So it's kind of another gold. And we have yellow green. Nope, sorry, traffic green. 6024. Oh, that's pretty too. It's a beautiful green. Could make like some peridot jewelry. And blue lilac, 4005. These are really pretty colors. Maybe I will be using the metallics. Metallic purple, 4007. Ooh. These are actually very smooth pencils. Very nice. They go down on the paper really nice. Pigeon Blue 5014. Violet Blue 5000. Real deep violet. Green. Is that what it says? Green brown. 8,000. So you'll notice all the metallics are four digit. Where the other ones weren't. weren't. They were either what? One or two. I don't know if there were any in the threes even. And patina green, 6,000. Ooh, that's pretty too. Tara Brown, 8028. These are really some pretty colors for metallic. Capri Pearl Blue, 5019. Oh, another nice color. Sky Pearl Blue, 5015. Broke the tip when I was taking it out of the tray. Traffic purple, 4006. Yeah, that one was my fault. Signal violet. So we got signal and traffic and <laughs> 4008. Ooh, a couple pretty pinks. Well, kind of a purple violet. Here is a silver 1026. We have it's a salmon orange. It isn't salmon. 
salmon pearl orange. Oh, that's pretty too. We have beige red 3012. Double checking the names really well just to make sure. And because it is such a metallic silver writing with my lights on up here it's reflecting on them it's kind of hard to read golden yellow 1004 so that's a pretty gold color water blue 5021 Beautiful blue green. Beige brown, eighty twenty four. And last in this tray is orange brown, eighty twenty three. And again, all of these. Metallics begin with AL. Okay, so let's see if we can see the shine on the metallics. Oh, there is a nice shine. I don't know if it's going to show on camera though. There. They are nice and shiny. They do have a really nice metallic look to them. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the neons. Now, I noticed, again, this is just kind of by the color on the pencil itself and looking at the lead, but some of these I definitely wouldn't classify as neons, but we shall see. Some of them definitely are, but not all of them. So we have Bright Eggplant, L05, so you'll notice the neons start with L. We do have one down here with a K, and then there is a green. So I do think I am going to incorporate, possibly incorporate these neons in. I'm not sure. That one did color a little bit differently than all the rest. This one's hot pink, L16. They don't seem to quite have the coverage, the full coverage as the others, if that makes any sense. Emerald, L09. It's definitely a neon. Bright orange, L11, definitely bright, oh yes. So yeah, I may end up leaving these right where they are, with the exception of a few. <laughs> Sun Glare, L10. Bright red, L14. That is a bright red. These will look great on a black background picture, like a mandala or something. Candy, L15. Nice bright, kind of a reddish pink or pinkish red. Reflex Blue, L05. See, now to me, this isn't really neon. And it colors like the other pencils where these really didn't feel like the others. This one does. But, I don't know. 
Sweet and Sour, L12. Jack-o-lantern, L13. Perfect time of the year for this. Oh, that's pretty. Neon Nephrite, L08. Acromo. Acroma, Arc, um, Acroma Blue, L07. Now here are the couple that I really, this one especially, I don't think is um, a neon, especially with being K21. It's Argon Oil. It is just a dark brown. So I'm for sure moving this one. I can even feel it's like the other pencils, but that blue one did too, so I don't know. Hard to say. This one too, a pastel green, I don't think belongs in the neons. G89. It is just a nice pale green. So again, I think it's something they just threw at the end. And then they're like, oh wait, we forgot a metallic. We forgot Nostalgia Rose, 6006. So here is one more pretty metallic. And ooh, that one is really nice and shimmery. Oh my gosh, folks, we made it through 520 pencils. Holy macaroni, right? <laughs> we did it. Yay. Okay, we are going to zoom out. All right, so I'm not even sure how many pages long this is, but let's take a look, <laughs> shall we? Now again, with a set of 520, you are going to have some tones that look very similar, right? Some of these colors are going to look very, very similar. However, there is going to be just a teeny bit of difference between them. Some of them probably not even visible to the naked eye, at least not mine. I am no, like I said, expert in color theory or in colored pencils. So um, we do have some, you know, similarities like custard, lemon meringue. But again, 520 pencils, folks. If you like these colors and you run out of one, you have another one to like. <laughs> So we have all these beautiful yellows. We get into some oranges. We have some skin tones. Surprisingly, not a lot. We get into some of the browns, beautiful, beautiful browns. And remember down the road, we have some more in the red um, area. They have some more red browns there. So, all right. Some more beautiful earth tones. We get into these kind of red violets or what would you want to call all these mauve colors. Then we start these gorgeous greens. So pretty. Let me flip this over. And more greens. Aren't these gorgeous through here? They're my favorites. <laughs> I love teal. And then we start with the gorgeous blues. And again, many of these, very, very similar. But these shades are so popular that me personally, I think it's gonna be kind of handy to have some <laughs> that are very similar. Going through all these different undertone groups. We get into the darker blues. Again, loving this area right through here. <laughs> Getting into our pinks. Now this dusty aqua is another one. Definitely did not belong in here. That would be going with the blues. Then we get into our reds that are on the pink side. 
and then into reds. So we definitely have reds here getting into the darker reds. Then we get into more the orangey reds. So I would be placing these up on top of the reds. Getting into these beautiful, again, kind of um, mauvey type colors. Your gray lavenders, if you will. And into my favorites, again, very much out of place. Yeah, just gorgeous pansy too. Like I said, there are some of these that just <laughs> chai blossom. Definitely doesn't belong there. But look at these gorgeous purples. Oh, just gorgeous. Then we get into the blacks. All different kinds of blacks. I mean, any other set, you would not see this number of black tone colored pencils. And they all have their purpose, right? Okay, so after Jet Set, then we have these greens. And then start the grays. So we have some warm grays, a blue. We have some cool grays. Here are some blues. Really on the yellow side. And then we have some, you know, we really don't have a lot of not a lot of cool gray. So again, for a set of 520, kind of boggles my mind that, that this is it for gray, doesn't it? I mean, we have tons more blues and greens than grays, which is par for the course. But out of how many sheets, we don't even have one column of grays. That kind of boggles my mind. Like I said, me personally, I am not much of a gray person. But I know many of you are. And even within these grays, so many of them are truly greens and blues. You know, they're not really gray grays. When you look at a 150 set of Prismacolor, how many shades of gray are there? There's a lot of gray pencils in that 150 set. Um, so, I mean, there's probably more in the Prismacolors than there are here. So, yeah, that, that really, that boggled my mind that there were only this amount of grays. Then we get to these beautiful metallics. Bright neons, if you do like your neon colors. And then one more metallic. Again, I don't think these two are neons especially with the uh, prefix letter they're not l's um so i will be leaving these all at the end with the exception of those two i guess the rest of them even though i don't consider this one i mean this one really doesn't look like a neon but i guess they gotta have a neon blue in here somewhere right <laughs> so they have a couple of those so Oh my gosh. All righty. We did it. We did it. What do you think of all the colors? I think they are stunning. Now, the question is, of course, does a person need 520 pencils in a set? No, you don't need these. Does Lisa need a 520 set of colored pencils? Definitely not. You know I don't color a lot with colored pencils. Anyhow, I would like to get into them more. I just not have been in the mood for pencils. I really, I have to get in the mood for them. Um, and I've just been busy on so many other projects that I just haven't gotten around to getting out of my color by number kick right now. <laughs> um, but hopefully, I will, um, I, I want to get this color chart made, which is going to take me eons to do, and then um, color with them. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely not, you know, it, it's definitely over the top. Let's put it that way. But as much as I am a colorist, I am a, an avid collector. You know that, of both coloring books and coloring supplies. So, for me, it was 
just seeing what this whole set was was like right <laughs> and I just think the colors are mm, they're amazing they're just amazing I love it so again I will leave links to everything down below I'll link the I think both the 260 sets are available yet yeah, those I didn't look at um, I do know the 520 set is available, and I believe this big pencil case is still available. So I will link that down below also, as well as that pencil sharpener that I was talking about in part one um, that I like to use for all of these. I use them for my square brute hooners because it does fit the larger size colored pencils. So like your uh, Derwent colored pencils that are a little bit bigger around sometimes they don't fit in your um, standard pencil sharpeners either they work you know this sharpener works great for that um, so yeah I'll link that down below also let me zoom you out all the way all right so again we have our 520 set of brute Fooner colored pencils. We made it. Yes. And my hand isn't falling off. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this second part of this epic long color swatching marathon. If you stuck with me this entire time, God bless you. <laughs> I hope yeah you see you enjoyed seeing all these beautiful colors go down on the paper if you enjoyed this whole series please hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new to my channel I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and as always happy coloring bye guys <laughs>